Barcelona have confirmed that Usman Dembélé has yet to sign his new deal, which I think we, we already knew. So, yeah, but they're, they're like telling uh, us this every yeah, so often. Yeah. Uh, Jules, I want to ask you about this because I have strong views on this. So obviously, he's a free agent yeah. in a few weeks. He can sign with anybody he wants. He continues to be linked with Chelsea. Can you explain this? Yeah, I think so. I tried before. Um, yeah, please try again because he's a winger who's Chelsea, linked to a team that doesn't play with wingers. So but I, Chelsea need a one-on-one a player who takes players on one-on-one. If they, if they need someone who can... No, don't look at me like this. They need someone I can come does, up with a long list of things that Chelsea need okay, but before need, that. Yeah, yeah, but he's a free agent. So, you know, he, this is not like a Jules Koundé deal that takes a lot of work to be done and a lot of negotiation and back and forth with Sevilla to sign a centre-back. He's a free agent. You find an agreement with him, he's yours. I, I think Chelsea badly need a player that will take on players, do four or five dribbles, successful dribbles per game and have that threat on the sides. Yeah. Even if somebody he, not named Pulisic or Ziyech no, or Hudson Odoi, Pulisic is not like Dembele. Neither, neither is Ziyech. They don't they have can, the same qualities. They can run at people and, and but they and don't have the pace them. that Dembele has. Certainly not with the ball at dribbling people. Pulisic is more of an inside ten for me, and certainly the way Tuchel has been playing him. I think if you take Dembele, you're going to change a little bit the way you set up. And the you're way going to change you it a lot because but you're going to have someone. to. But you, you can still play with wing backs and have a player wide like Dembele. But play three four three. But yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. You but can have Mason one, Mount go. But Mason Mount goes behind the striker and then you got more width with, with Dembele on the right-hand side, which leaves Chilwell more space on the left-hand side because Mount or Pulisic will come inside more, which won't be the I, case for Dembele. I, I, I honestly, I, I think this makes zero I sense, especially the that. numbers that he's talking. Not because Dembele is a oh, bad yeah, player. It's a high, yeah, high because wages. Because you have to disassemble your whole lineup to play. If you want to go 4-2-3-1, fine. Then let's go and have a conversation about four two three one. Which, by the way, given that you're losing center backs, might not be necessarily Maybe, no? be a yeah. bad idea. I think it would actually benefit Lukaku if he sticks around, or indeed even Havertz uh, as your one, and you have the wingers there. Then go and do that. But in the system but, that they played last year, if if if, if Tuchel comes to me and says, "Yeah, what about Dembele?" I say, "Hey, how about you make it work with the guys we already I have?" Know, but last year, and worry once, about a midfielder and a defender. Once you block the two wing backs, then there was very little from the wings from Chelsea, and that was just not good enough. And I think you could change that for sure. Sticking with Barcelona, Gab reports in Spain say that Marcos Alonso has told Chelsea he wants to move, and that Barcelona are waiting to see. What the price tag is? Yeah, he wants to go and replace Usman Dembele, maybe. <laughs> like I, what be the Jordi Alba uh, number two? I I don't understand this at all. This seems to me like another one of those stories that's out yeah. there, right? Uh, there's a couple things. I understand if you're Marcos Alonso, you say, oh, but look, all these people around me think that Chilwell's so much better than me, and I get all this abuse. When let's look at the numbers. How many how many uh, fullbacks or, or wingbacks? have been more productive on the attacking end yeah, that's true. than Marcos Alonso in the Premier League. Not many. Not many. And I think true. one of them is probably named Andy, and I don't know if there's anybody else other than him, that's true. certainly on that, down the left-hand side. So I could see him wanting to do that, but it's like, dude, you have a contract. Chelsea would have to uh, name a price, get a fee for you, find a replacement for you, somebody yeah. back up Chilwell because Chilwell's been injured each of the last two seasons. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's that simple. And if you're Barcelona... Wait, well, you need another 30-year-old on big money when you already have Jordi Alba in that position? I know. It doesn't what, make what, any what, sense. I mean, I know they need a backup for Jordi Alba, but surely they can they can find someone else. Find a kid. Exactly. Well, maybe from, from their own academy. Ryan Gravenberch to Bayern is official. Oh, Jules, I still feel this kind of flown under the radar a little it bit. Has. We mentioned it a few, few weeks ago when we when Why we didn't he sign for Liverpool? Happen. It's a good question. <laughs> it's a good point. I mean, Bayern went for Masrawi and him... To, to Mino players, of course. Uh, Gravenbush with only one year left on his contract, which you got him for around... Th- I mean, with add-ons, it's 25 million euros, pretty much, something like that, which I think is a still is an absolute bargain for a player of his quality at his age. With his experience already, we talked about experience before, but, you know, in terms of just playing time and playing experience, it's going to be great for, for a club who needs midfielder in the sense because Goretzka and Kimmich are there and then you go down to Roca and you know players like and that. And Tolisso's out of contract, isn't he? Tolisso is gone, exactly, out of contract. Sabitzer has been a failure, let's be honest. Why hasn't Tolisso been linked with anybody? No, he's been he? linked. They're trying hard to move him to England. 
to some mid-table English to, side. Well, he, he dreams of a top six club. World Cup, World Cup winner. Pay yeah, attention. World Cup winner, Corentin Tolisso. So, no, well done to Bayern. I think this is a really, really smart piece of business from them. So, well done. Everton have reportedly set a £50 million price tag for Richarlison. Jules, he's been linked to Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, and well, Spurs. Spurs yeah. um, any of these make sense? Um, it depends what he wants and what those clubs want. If well, Spurs, I presume he wants a bigger club than the one he's at okay, now. Fair club but maybe Spurs, in the Champions League. Which Spurs, he will sit on the bench. What you know? What would he do with Spurs? The, yeah, the Spurs thing, I don't get. And Son and Kane and that. Where, where does he fit? And surely he wants to be the number one. If he leaves Everton, he's gone. He wants to be the number one somewhere else. Okay, he's not so going to be the number one at Paris Saint Germain or no, Real Madrid. Neither. So. so like, what you spend fifty million on the sub? That's why it doesn't make much sense for me, either for could, those clubs or for him himself. You don't think he could fit into Real Madrid's front line down the right-hand side? I mean, maybe, but you I'm not sure. I'm not better sure better job than Rodrigo or Marco Sensio. I'm not or? sure playing him wide is, is a good idea. I, I, certainly, I don't think this is his best position. And he can fill in for Benzema when Benzema takes yeah, so the again, so it's Do better than Mariano? Again, so that's the second choice. So you would spend 50 million on the second choice and then... And for him, he would have to, to, to settle with sitting on the bench for most of the time because if you're Karim Benzema as number two... Well, no, he starts... Come on, work with me here. Yeah. He starts in a front line. My front line is Vinicius, Benzema, Richarlison, which is not bad, right? I'm not, I'm not Richarlison. when Benzema fan. takes a day off, Richarlison plays through the middle and I play yeah, Rodrigo maybe, or Asensio. Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm a bit harsh. I'm more, just, I'm just not a fan. More I'm logical than Paris Saint Germain. Well, oh, by yeah. the way, I did mention this guy. They want to troll you, but Icardi gave an interview recently where he said, "Like I can feel that this is my season. There's a big year yeah, coming up no. for me." Yeah, but no, Maro. You can stay in uh, Rwanda or Kenya, wherever you were, on your safari with Rwanda, and this, this is fine for me. It was a year ago, yesterday, Gab, that Christian Eriksen collapsed during the Euros. Now, after six months by playing for Brentford, he's a free agent. Where do you think he should go? I don't know. I, I'm really curious about this. There's been talk about him reuniting with Conte, which mm. seems weird in some ways. Yeah. But then again, you know, people grow up. Who knows? I guess. Um, I think, look, it's not, I'm sure he's thinking about it. I, I think he should remember what he said when he came out on what his dream of playing mm. at the World Cup. So wherever he goes, it should be what allows him to best prepare for the World Cup. Um if it's another team in the Premier League, if it's a mid-table team, I, I don't want to see something where he overexerts himself or, yeah. or whatever, and then he's not 100% the World Cup. Because for this fairy tale to end, it's got to end with him yeah, having a tremendous right. World Cup. That's true. That's right, true. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.